God spoke to us and told us that we are supposed to raise up a thousand disciples. The word of God says that we are supposed to go out to and make disciples of all nations. Have you been discipled? Have you been taught the ways of the Lord? Have you been led by the Holy Ghost as you have been instructed by someone who's been taught of how to live for God? We have people that want to walk with you. We have people that are great men and women of God that want to pray over your life and that they want to take on the responsibility of seeing you grow in Jesus, in Jesus Christ. Today is the day to sign up. Today is the day to become part of this discipleship program. Become part of this army that we're raising up to serve the Lord. This is a daily discipleship program that you will walk with our spiritual trainers and you will experience the goodness of God. Come by faith, pleases God church. And we will, we will match you up with somebody who will, will encourage you, who will walk with you, who will pray over your life and believe God for the goodness of God for you, for you and your family. You need to become a disciple. Come by faith, pleases God church, or call 956-412-5600 and say, I want to become a disciple of Jesus Christ. Thank you guys for watching today's program and thank you for signing up to become a disciple today. It's a free ministry just for you. God bless you and we'll see you in a, in a short while here at church worshiping the Lord with us. God bless you. We love you. God bless. Amen. We got great power in Christ Jesus. And so the strong man in the house is you. You're the strong man in the house. If you don't like the direction that your family's going, if you don't like the situation that you are in, don't blame God. Look in the mirror. Don't blame the devil. Blame yourself. Get yourself right before God. Repent. Repent. Say, Father, forgive me for not seeing who I am in Christ Jesus. Ask him for his anointing and he'll give you the anointing. And then begin to rebuke that devil in the name of Jesus. I command that devil of fear to leave this house. You will not have your place in this house no more. No, this is a house that God has blessed us with. Only the presence of God can dwell in this place. I command every devil to leave right now in Jesus' name. And you speak in faith. And command that devil to leave. Open the door. Do it by faith. Devil, get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Tell it to go. Tell it to go. Watch how things change. I can tell you houses that, that I've gone to to visit. They were dealing with so much fear, so much anxiety. Anxiety. I go in there. I'm just lovey-dovey. I just love God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm just like shining a light in that dark place. That spirit of fear leaves that place. Why? Because I'm there. And Jesus is with me. Amen. That's why the Bible says that even though we go through the shadow of death, we will, he, he will never leave us. There's no fear because God is with us. Amen. We won't fear no evil. Tell your neighbor, I'm not going to fear no evil. Tell your neighbor, greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. And so men, women of God, fathers, mothers, rise up and take back your house. You are the strong man. And the only reason why the devil has had any access into your home is because you have refused to stand up and be that strong man. You do not fight with your physical might. You fight in the spirit. You fight on your knees. You pray. You declare. You begin to speak the word of God over your situation. And watch how you'll take back that home. Amen. Watch how your family's going to get saved. Watch how your, your children are going to be blessed. Watch how your, your marriage is going to grow. You might be dealing with struggles in your, in your marriage. You should be confessing, oh, my wife, she loves me. Praise the Lord. I'm going to use faith even though she cursed me this morning. I love her. She loves me. <laughs> Begin to confess, oh, she finds me sexy. You use faith instead of fear. Amen. Even if, even if your, your wife went right in front of you and says, I hate you. I, I, I regret the day I married you. I regret this. And she gives you every curse in the world. You should look at her and think, praise the Lord. She loves me. Praise the Lord. She, is the, she thinks I'm the greatest man in the world. Don't accept the attacks of the devil. She's reacting in fear. She's reacting in, 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 in the flesh. You react in faith. The Bible says we walk by faith and not by sight. Amen? Amen. 
Hallelujah. Strong men, strong women, rise up in the name of Jesus. Use the word of God. Resist the devil and he shall flee. Tell that dog, get out, and he'll get out in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Now go with me. One more scripture. Go with me to Luke chapter 10. Hallelujah. <laughs> Can I tell you a story? <clears throat> I need some drink some more water before I tell the story. Is it okay if I go down there? Don't worry, guys in the back. I got taller over the weekend. I just want to get a little closer to you. My, my father, him and my, my uncle, my uncle Augie, they would be smoking weed in the, in the basement in New York. And my aunt, uh, I have to call her this, Titi Jenny. If I don't call her Titi, she gets angry at me. And my aunt, would, would she, she was saved. And so she would go to church and she would come back. And my father and my uncle were, would be smoking weed. And they would always make fun of her. They would make fun of her. They would say, you, you're, you're in love with the pastor. You're in love with the pastor. They would say, why are you going to church? Why are you doing this? You know, just making fun of her because they're, they're stoned off their mind. They were just saying whatever they could, you know. And they would make fun of her when she'd come in. And so she would hear all this negative stuff. So she would walk into the, to, hand me my bottle. She would walk into the, into the house. And she walked right past them, you know, smelling all that weed. And she would have their Bible in her arm. And she would start singing, Satan, get out of my way because I'm coming through. You can't stop these feet of mine from walking all over you. I can see you standing there in your misery. But I know a man somewhere that has set me free. My father and my uncle didn't know that she, she was talking about them. They both got saved. They both served the Lord. Amen. Amen. Your faith will bring them into salvation. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you there? Amen. Luke chapter 10. Now I want you to hear this. I'm, I'm speaking to all of you. This is the, what Jesus is telling us. It's, and he said to them, verse 18, and he said to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this, that the spirits are subject to you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. When you give your life to Jesus, if you haven't given your heart to Jesus, today's your day. When you give your life to Jesus, the Bible says that your name is written in heaven. Your name is way up there. The devil is way down there. The Bible says that the devil fell like lightning from heaven. He operates in this realm of the flesh, this realm of this world. We operate in the realm of heaven. Amen. Jesus said, he, he said in that word, I give you all authority over the devil. All authority over the devil. You have authority to cast that devil out. You have authority to tell the devil, no, you cannot be in my house. You have the authority to say, no, devil, you cannot be in my city. No, devil, you cannot have my marriage. No, devil, you cannot have my children. You cannot touch my finances. You have authority. Tell your neighbor, I have authority. Because Jesus said, I give you all authority. Jesus said, the devil is down there. You will trample under. He'll be underneath your feet. The devil's underneath your feet. That means you have a place of authority and victory. Everybody just stomp on the floor a little bit. Yeah, you, the Bible says that, that his, his head will be bruised yes. by your heel. Amen. 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 You have, he's under your feet. You're in a place of victory. So Jesus said, I give you all authority. 
And he gives you all power. In other words, you have, Jesus has given you the permission and Jesus has given you the power to overcome all the attacks of the enemy. To tell that devil to get out. Hallelujah. So that when you speak in the name of Jesus, you tell that devil, I command you in the name of Jesus. If you say, I command you in the name of Kevin, he's going to laugh at you. <laughs> if you say, I command you in the name of faith, please God, he's going to laugh at you. But if you say, I command you in the name of Jesus, he's going to look at you and say what he said to Jesus. Where do you want us to go? Where, where, where do you, can, can we go into the pigs over there? You, you've been called to torment devils. You're not called to be tormented by the devil. You're called to torment the devils. Amen. 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 And you, you torment that devil with the power of God, the anointing, and the authority of God. The Bible says that we have the keys of the kingdom, that whatever we bind in heaven will be bound on earth. Whatever we loose in heaven will be loose on earth. You know what keys? Keys gives us the, the authority. If I gave you the keys and I said, here's the keys to my car, go ahead and use it. That means you could go out there and drive that car whenever you want. Because I've given you that power. Well, that's what Jesus has done. He's given us the name that's above all name, the name of Jesus. He's given us all the authority over the devil. He's written our name in heaven, so we are speaking from a position of authority. Amen? And he's put the devil at the, at, underneath your feet. That The Bible says that you will trample. When I go to nations to preach the gospel, I'm going there to trample over the devil. Amen. That devil that's been trying to hold back that nation, I'm going to trample over him. When I go into the... the, to the to the prison systems, I'm trampling over the, the devil in that area. When I go to a place where people have been held captive to addictions, I'm go going there to trample over that devil. That devil of addiction is going to be broken in the name of Jesus. Wherever I go, I go there to trample over devil and declare the victory of the Lord Jesus Christ. The King of kings and the Lord of lords is with us. Amen? So when we speak and when we pray and when we declare, we declare in the name of Jesus and we shall have the results that Jesus had. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Do you all believe that today? Amen. Praise God. Can we give God praise? Amen. Say, I have all authority. I have all authority. Jesus gave me all authority over all the power of the devil. I have power over sickness and disease. I have power over fear. All the works of the devil. All the works of the devil. I, can I can command the devil to leave. And he will leave. He will leave. In, the In the name of Jesus. I am a person of God. I am a, I am a child of God. Child of God. My, name My name is written in heaven. Written in heaven. And nothing can change that. Can change Thank, you, Thank you Jesus. For your power. And for, my salvation. and for my salvation. Amen, 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 amen. 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 Yeah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah. I want to ask the pastors of the church, come, come, come. Pastor Pete, can you grab that tray? In just a moment, we're going to come to, come to the altar. And just face it. In, in just a moment, we're going to pass out these oil bottles for you to go and anoint let me just grab one of these real quick. They're just a little bottle like this. Has a little bit of oil. You don't have to go to something and just pour it, pour it, pour it. Just go, dip your finger, put it where you want it. You put it on your entryway. You put it on your exitway. If you have a problem going on in your body, put it on your body. If the Lord says, I want you to put it over your, over your bed, put it over your bed. Amen. Put it over your children's bed. You have to understand, we, there's more for us than against us. Amen. The Bible says that only a third of the angels were cast out of heaven and became devils. There's two-thirds two more. There's, there's, there's two times more angels than there is devils. Amen. Amen. And so, in your house, we are welcoming the angels into your house. I remember my, my mother, when we first built, when my, my father built her the first house, her first house that 
was hers. She was so worried. She, her prayer was, thank you, Lord, for this house, but are you protecting it? And we have this big window in the front of the house. And one day my brother was walking down, and he looked and he saw an angel sitting right on the window, just going left and right, just looking like this. And he comes down and he tells my, my father, and my father says, go, go tell your mother. And he shared the testimony. And my mother just began to cry because God was confirming to her that he's watching over her home. No destruction shall come near your dwelling. That's a promise of the Lord. No plague shall come near your dwelling. No destruction shall come near your dwelling. Your, your marriage will not break up. Poverty will not come to your house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sickness and disease will not come near your house. I can't, I can't even remember the last time my girls got sick. We don't, we don't accept that. That devil has to go. Amen. That, that's for those that don't know their God. We know our God. Amen. And so this oil, it, it just represents the power of God upon your life. You have all authority. You have all power given to you by the name of Jesus. Amen. You might say, Pastor, I, I, I just got saved this morning. Oh, greater is he that's in you. Hallelujah. But pastor, I, I just became a Christian. I don't know. It's the work that Jesus did for you. You know, you don't see yourself small. You're not a grasshopper. You're a giant in Christ Jesus. Amen. And so when you stand up, watch how things will change. Watch how things will change. Don't let go of your peace. Keep your faith. Walk in the peace of God. You know, if things start rising up and things start, start screaming, it's because that devil doesn't want to go, but he has to go. You know, don't, don't, don't get angry at, at your family. Don't get angry at your, your, your people in your home. No, just bring it to God and watch how God will change it. God will change it. Amen. Let your prayers be finalized. When you say in the name of Jesus, it's like signing the check. Amen. And if the check is good. Amen. The check is good. You, just, you sign it, you release it in the name of Jesus and just expect those things to change. Amen. You say, well, Pastor, what if I don't see it right away? Don't give up your faith. Don't give up. We don't walk by what we see. We walk by faith and not by sight. Amen? And so we have bottles, and, and in just a moment, we're going to open up this altar. We're going to pray over the, these bottles and release the anointing of God. And then we're going to open up the altar. If you want to get a bottle for you and your family, that'd be great. Amen. And you just, just use it how God tells you to use it. Amen. Some of you might be believing God for something new. Maybe you're believing God for a new car. Put it on your old car. Amen. Maybe you're believing God that your house would sell. Put it on your house. Whatever it is, let God lead you. Amen. This is more than enough of no oil. You might say, well, pastor, what if I'd run out of it? Why don't you just believe God that you will not run dry? I have a little bottle that my father blessed uh, left for me. It's probably the greatest inheritance other than his name. His name is a great name. That's my greatest inheritance. But that little bottle carries anointing oil. It's just a little bit bigger than this. And I've anointed thousands of people with that bottle and it's still full. It's still full. Oh, pastor, how's that happen? I don't know. I don't, I don't care. It's, it's happening. Amen. Just enjoy the blessing, brother. Just enjoy the blessing. Amen. So you take this and you anoint and you ask God for his presence there. Watch how angels will start rising up in your house. Just watching over your house. Watch how those devils will start leaving. Watch how the, the, the environment in your house will change. Listen, the same anointing and the same presence of God that you see here at this church should be in your home. Should be in your home. You shouldn't have to just come to church to experience the presence of God. It should be in your house. People should knock on your door and say, can I just hang out at your house? And they say, why? Because it's just so peaceful there. It's just so good. Because Jesus is there, amen? Hallelujah. So we're, gonna, we're going to, to, to give you one of these things, amen? Hallelujah. And please, one for family, or, or maybe, you know, you really need to come. There, we're hoping that there's extras, amen? But praise the Lord. How many have faith today? How many felt your faith rise up today? Praise God. Oh, things are going to change. And then you got to guard yourself. Don't start cursing things with your mouth and, and, and 
and continue in the, those ways that invite the presence of the enemy into your home. You know, you can't play with the devil and expect not to be burnt. Amen? When God tells you, get rid of it, get rid of it. Tell your neighbor, get rid of it. Your ways of life, things that are, things that are, that are unholy, get rid of it. And you know they're unholy. You say, well, how do I know it's holy or not? Can I call you? No. <laughs> Just listen to the Holy Spirit. Tell your neighbor, listen to the Holy Spirit. I want you to go home and get a trash bag and walk in your house and ask the Holy Spirit, show me what needs to leave. And as you walk, the Holy Spirit says, get rid of that, grab it, put it in the trash bag. Oh, but pastor, I spent $100 on that. Throw it away. Well, I could sell it. Throw it away. Amen? Now, don't put people in there, but... <laughs> Watch how the Spirit of God would say, I want you to go over here, go over here, and you find something you didn't even know was in your house. I could tell you stories of people finding drugs, people finding weapons, people finding occultic things. I could tell you times where, 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 where they, someone went to a witch doctor to curse that person and put it in their house. And ever since then, they've been experiencing these negative things. And the, and, and the Holy Spirit says, this, there's a devil right here. He has to go. You end up finding a coin or finding something that was placed there by the enemy to destroy. Amen? Just follow the Holy Ghost. Tell your neighbor, follow the Holy Ghost. He said, well, pastor, I don't know how to follow the Holy Spirit. Just, just ask the Holy Spirit. Just say, Holy Spirit, guide me. And just be sensitive. Be sensitive. He will help you along the way. He'll show you what to do. Amen? He'll tell you what to do and how to get rid of it. He'll tell you, put some oil there. Put some oil there. Amen? Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Are you all ready? Before we, we release you with the oil, I want to invite you just to close your eyes for a moment. There are people that need to get right with God today. Today, your eyes are being opened that there's a new way of living, and that's through Jesus Christ. And you've been examining yourself, and you feel like you're not ready. You're not worthy. If, if Christ were to come today, you don't know if you'd be, your name is written in heaven if you're born again, if you're a child of God. And there's no reason why you should ever doubt or be in fear. Today's the day of salvation. I want to invite you to say a prayer with us. If you want to give your life to Jesus and ask him to be Lord of and Savior of your life. When I count to three, I want you to lift up your right hand and we're going to pray together. Or maybe you have given your, your heart to Jesus, but you felt you've, 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 you slipped along this, this walk and you feel like you're so far away and today you want to rededicate your life to God. And by faith, ask God to come back into your life and remove every wicked sin off of you and set you free. If that's for you, I want you to count, when I, when I count to three, I want you to lift up your right hand. Today is the day of salvation. If you're giving your heart to Jesus or rededicating your life, when I count to three, lift up your right hand and we're going to pray. This is your moment. One, two, three. Lift it up where you're at. God bless you. God bless you. All over the room. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All over the room. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. All over the center section. Praise the Lord. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. All over this section. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Many, many, many people are coming to Christ today. Praise God. The, the Lord sees you. The Lord sees you. Jesus sees you. The, the, this, is, this is heavenly. This is heavenly. Hallelujah. I want to invite everyone just to lift up both your hands to heaven. Everyone lift up your hands to heaven. Hallelujah. This is a holy moment. And I want to encourage you to say this prayer after me. Repeat after me. Lord Jesus, forgive me of all my sins. Come inside my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. I believe in you. I want to live for you. I give you my heart. I give you my life. Thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross for all my sins. Now, Jesus, live inside of me. Father God, I'm coming home. Use me for your glory. Teach me your ways. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. I confess that I'm a child of God. I'm born again. My name is written in heaven. I am saved. 
In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise God bless you, my friends. This is Pastor Kevin Ortiz, and I want to thank you for watching Victory in the Valley. We had an incredible time with the Lord. The Lord called us and he told us to anoint these bottles of oil and to release them upon the houses and upon the families so that they could pray and anoint their house and claim the presence of the Lord inside their homes. And I want to tell you, my friends, we are experiencing so much of his glory, so much of his power. Even in the very service, before we even we released these bottles of oil, the presence of the Lord was so strong that people were set free. Devils were being manifested and being cast out all over the church. And I want to tell you, the enemy does not want to leave your home. And we want to encourage you and we want to help you as you live for the Lord. If you would like one of these bottles of oil, these are free for you. But you must come by the church. You could come by the church during the week, Monday through Friday. We will be here. Come by the church and pray with one of our, our pastors. And they will bless you with one of these bottles of oil so that you could go home and put it upon your doorpost, put it upon your house, and tell the devil that he needs to get out and begin to, begin to claim that the presence of the Lord is inside your house. So please come on by. Faith pleases God Church. We have a bottle of oil for you. It's free. We'll pray with you. We'll come in agreement that God will give you victory for you and your house and your home. If you want one of these bottles, come by Faith Pleases God Church here in Harlingen, Texas. And there's a pastor here that wants to pray with you. God bless you. Thank you for watching Victory in the Valley. God bless. God spoke to us and told us that we are supposed to raise up a thousand disciples. The word of God says that we are supposed to go out to and make disciples of all nations. Have you been discipled? Have you been taught the ways of the Lord? Have you been led by the Holy Ghost as you have been instructed by someone who's been taught of how to live for God. We have people that want to walk with you. We have people that are great men and women of God that want to pray over your life and that they want to take on the responsibility of seeing you grow in Jesus, in Jesus Christ. Today is the day to sign up. Today is the day to become part of this discipleship program. Become part of this army that we're raising up to serve the Lord. This is a daily discipleship program that you will walk with our spiritual trainers and you will experience the goodness of God. Come by faith, pleases God church, and we will, we will match you up with somebody who will, will encourage you, who will walk with you, who will pray over your life and believe God for the goodness of God for you, for you and your family. You need to become a disciple. Come by faith, pleases God church, or call 956-412-5600 and say, I want to become a disciple of Jesus Christ. Thank you guys for watching today's program and thank you for signing up to become a disciple today. It's a free ministry just for you. God bless you and we'll see you in a, in a short while here at church worshiping the Lord with us. God bless you. We love you. God bless.